tiny city. I drove like almost 20 kilometers from the sightseeing spot to here. Uh, I'm looking for a bike or rent. It seems like uh, it's not that good. It's not an easy job to do. The, the rental bike is not everywhere in this city. I think maybe it is because it's a quite small place. So I have to, you know, work on steps to find it out. I saw it somewhere around this area, but I have to find out what exactly it is. I couldn't find any restaurant. It's uh, 3 p.m. I have already starving. So I bought some cake, you know, like this one. This is a sausage bread, you know, sausage bread. And there's a sandwich with a, with a orange juice. I'll, I'll eat it and then I'll rent the bus. Sorry, I'll rent the, the bicycle. So a beef sandwich on the roadside. I'm going to eat it. It's a hard life. Uh, I'm gonna use these blue bikes. So it seems like this is the, the hiding brand. But the funny thing is how to open it. Yeah, so eventually I can use it. It's not very easy. You have to pay the bond, 200 RMB, which is ridiculous. Why it's, it's beeping? Oh my God, oh my God. Bicycle time in uh, Hainin city uh not, not really sure if the camera angle is okay or not hold on let, let me adjust the the gopro ah, maybe this is better yeah so I believe I'm in the downtown area of Hainin. Uh, Hainin has one million population. Uh, this is uh, China Uncle Mikey doing a bicycle tour in Hainin city. So I think maybe it is because Hainin is a relatively small city. So, um it is pretty difficult to to find out some like uh, you know food streets or uh it's just uh, this like uh, resi residential area but maybe it's also good that we can you know What's going on with this beeping stuff? So I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think I have to go to the the main street, which should be in this direction. Yeah. <coughs> you know, I was trying to pull over, not pull over. I, I was trying to stop in the leather jacket uh, commercial center or something. Uh, it looked like just a business district with a lot of, you know, modern buildings and the malls. I feel, I feel it might be not that interesting actually. So then I decided to just go straight to the old town. I believe this is uh, where the old town is. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. But in the new 
district, you only see, you know, wide roads and high buildings. Not that interesting. To be honest, Hanyin isn't very impressive in the first glance. Uh, you know, in in the morning, the riverside, you know, the the open water area is kind of uh, interesting, and uh, the Sea God Temple was legit. Uh, it was a legit uh, historical building. At least, uh, it's not a, a new renovation or something. It's a little bit windy today. Hope, hopefully, GoPro is working well. So, this place looks like a food street or something. But I have already took the food. I've already eat. I've already eaten the food. Uh, well, some girls urinated on the street, public un urination. <coughs> you know, in this place, even the rental back isn't very common actually. Oh, there are some small alleys on my left hand so maybe I will turn I'm gonna turn because there's no reason to oh maybe uh, let's do it in this way So even we are in a uh, old, you know, city area. It's a uh, brand new architecture. Uh, there's no specific characteristics for for this city. You know, it just like the the other cities got the same setup. If you go to a suburb in in Shanghai, <coughs> you will see the same thing. Yo. So, okay. this is a rich area, actually. If you take a look at the villas on my left, uh, left side, these villas, it seems like nobody is living in this uh, independent house. Yeah, nobody is living over there. Maybe one, one family or two, but not all these villas are sold out. It's called the Yuan Shu. <laughs> I'm trying to find some interesting stuff for you guys, but you know. You got these uh, sectors of sectors of. Uh, <clears throat> these are actually renovation companies. You know, they provide you know, doors, spring locks, you know, curtains, pipes. Problem is, no hustling, bustling, and uh, no population walking on the street. I need a scooter. It's too tired to ride the bike. A historical culture place turn into a car exhibition. Interesting, huh? Nobody's here. <laughs> if 
you remember, they actually blocked the, the street area to prevent bicycles or cars to get in, and they created this like empty place. God. The walls are the paint. The shops are closed. Not fun. I think it is because they don't have a lot of historical things to offer. What is this? Wang Guowei Guoji Yanzhou International Research Center. What is that? What does that even mean? International Research Center. I'll walk to the end of the street and uh, then this is the end of today's video. Let's take a look at this side. <coughs> yeah. If you ask me to live here for several days, I would prefer to do it because except this like construction, you know, noisy all the time, you know, this kind of noisy is constantly 24 hours in China. So you cannot get away from it. Even in a water town, it's supposed to be very relaxing and a quiet place. But look at these walls. But, you know, 50 years old, maybe, I don't know. Some tea house. As a wrap up for today's video, Hanjing city isn't very interesting. <laughs> Look at this uh, like car exhibition area in an old town area, which is kind of like lame to me. Uh, yeah, the pity thing is we didn't got the chance to to see the leather jacket business area. Uh, I don't think I have the time, although it is the main purpose for today's trip. But we have already checked out the, the riverside and uh, we have an overlook of the uh, Qiantangjiang, right? And uh, so this is uh, Hanying City, China Uncle Mikey. See you in next video.